Dear friends, in this tutorial, we will learn about reverse recovery time of a diode, in other words diode switching time. These are the points covered in this tutorial. Let us consider a diode, and the applied input voltage is as shown in this figure, 9A. We will assume that, the forward bias voltage is high enough to make the diode in conduction state. So, at time T1, when the input signal is changing, or the input voltage polarity is changing, the diode should go to the off state immediately as per the ideal case. But in practical scenario, does not happen. This means, the diode does not change its state from on to off instantaneously. Now, let us discuss the reason behind this. From the previous lectures, we have seen that, in the forward bias case, there are a large number of electrons that move from N-type material to the P-type material, and a large number of holes from the P-type to the N-type region. So, at steady state, there are a large number of minority carriers present in both the region. Thus, when the applied voltage is reversed, because of large number of minority carriers present in both the region. The diode current will reverse, as shown in this figure, 9B, and stay in this level, for time TS, that is storage time. This is the time taken by the minority carriers to move to their respective majority side, that is holes move to P-type, and electrons to inside. This means, the diode will be short circuit state with current, I reverse, which is determined by the network parameters. After the storage phase, the reverse current will decrease to attain the non-conduction state. This period is denoted TT, that is, transition time, or, transition interval. So we can say that, the reverse recovery time is the sum of, TS and TT, that is, TRR, equal to, TS plus TT. Most commercial diodes have, reverse recovery time of few nanoseconds to one microsecond. Thank you for watching. If you feel benefited from this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel.